Hey there, it's me Speedy Boy, and today if you're watching on Easter, happy Easter. Anyways, this is Types of Anime Fans Part 2. If you haven't watched Part 1, it'll be the link in the description or at the end of the video. Obviously, watch this one first. Anyways, the first type of anime fan is... The fan artist. Now, this person tends to make fan art of their favourite anime. For example, like Bakugan or uh, Demon Slayer or whatever. These guys don't go around making porn, unlike Rule 34 artists. They actually make good, good art. That is very, very, you know, very talented, and also maybe even make their own characters, or maybe even their own manga of said thing. Then we have the seasonal viewer. This guy has started watching anime in 2016, and watched everything in that anime season, from winter to fall to summertime. He's watched every single anime that's come out, but if you ask him about any anime pre-2016, or pre-whenever he started watching, or like classic anime like Akira, Evangelion, Initial D, he probably hasn't watched it. And now we have Jason. Jason is the most type powerful of anime weeaboo watching power. He has some ungodly powers of watching anime. He's watched over at least 3,000 anime, has at least 500 days in my anime list. And oh my, and he'll just, somehow he's avoided the casual otaku look of obese, neck beard and glasses and balding. He somehow avoid it and he looks like a normal person, functions like a normal member of society, but his hobbies include binge watching like 500 episode anime like Naruto and uh, watching anime. And then we have the elitist. The, elit the elitist embodies the superiority complex. He believes that his taste is better than literally anybody else's. Whatever manga he reads, whatever manga he reads, whatever anime he watches, whatever anime film, whatever. He thinks he's better than everyone else. But when you check us out my anime list, He's watched Boku no Piku at least 50 times. And now we move on to the edgy viewer. This guy has probably watched at least uh, High School DxD completely 50 different times. And his two favourite things to say are High School DxD I watch for the plot and anime beach episodes are the best thing to come to this planet. And now we have the manhwa reader. This guy tends to mostly need, read manhwa, which is pretty self-explanatory. Uh, yeah, it's the only thing he reads. He doesn't really read manga too much. He just reads exclusively manhwa. And don't question what this is. Don't question what that is. And now we have the ex weeaboo This guy was once a weeb, and now he isn't. He used to watch anime. He doesn't anymore. And, uh, well, he doesn't really do much now. He probably has no time to watch anime, or he doesn't like the media that much anymore. He may watch like, other stuff like Breaking Bad. The next uh, type of anime fan is the anime movie watcher. This guy mostly just watches anime movies. He may watch a series every, every now and then, but mostly it's just anime movies. A derivative of the sub uh, of the anime movie watcher, I think I used the wrong word there, is the Studio Ghibli simp. This guy thinks Studio Ghibli makes the best anime, which is sort of right. I mean, I don't like all Studio Ghibli movies. Some of them are quite good, some of them are very bad, but still. Okay, not very bad, but nah. But still, this guy thinks every single Studio Ghibli movie from My Neighbor Totoro to that other one is all very good and art. I mean, some of them are good, some of them are bad. It's hit or miss, really, and it's subjective. And now, the final type of anime fan, the Giga Chad. This guy likes anime, likes manga, likes manhwa, he likes everything anime, he likes Japanese music, um, plays anime games, uh, he's learnt Japanese, he lives in Japan now, uh, he, he's basically all of us combined, but better in every single way. He doesn't judge people on their anime taste whatsoever, unlike me. Uh, he also recommends people anime, if people don't like anime, he's like, okay, cool then. Anyways, that's the end of the video. Thank you for watching and goodbye.